8 Best Natural Home Remedies for Sore Throat A sore throat refers to pain, itchiness, or irritation of the throat. Throat pain is the primary symptom of a sore throat. It may get worse when you try to swallow, and you may have difficulty swallowing food and liquids. Even if a sore throat isn't serious enough for a trip to the doctor, it's still painful and may prevent you from getting a good night's sleep. Fortunately, you can use at-home remedies to soothe the pain and irritation without seeing your doctor or going to the hospital. 1. Gargling with salt water Gargling with warm salt water can help soothe the sore throat and break down secretions. It's also known to help kill bacteria in the throat. Make a salt water solution with a half teaspoon of salt and a full glass of warm water. Gargle it to help reduce swelling and keep the throat clean. This should be done every three hours or so. 2. Coat and soothe your throat with honey. Honey mixed in tea or taken on its own is a common household remedy for a sore throat. One study found that honey was even more effective at taming nighttime coughs than common cough suppressants. Other research shows that honey is an effective wound healer, which means it may help speed healing for sore throats. 3. Baking soda gargle While the salt water gargle is more commonly used, gargling baking soda mixed with salt water can help relieve a sore throat as well. Gargling this solution can kill bacteria and prevent the growth of yeast and fungi. The National Cancer Institute recommends gargling and gently swishing a combination of 1 cup warm water, 1 quarter teaspoon baking soda, and 1 eighth teaspoon of salt. They recommend using the rinse every 3 hours as needed. 4. Drink extra cold liquids. Those first few swallows may not be pleasant. But just as icing a sprained ankle can dull the pain and prevent swelling, drinking icy liquids can both numb your throat and calm some of the inflammation that's causing you pain. 5. Garlic Garlic also has natural antibacterial properties. It contains allicin, an organosulfur compound known for its ability to fight off infections. Studies have shown that taking a garlic supplement on a regular basis can help prevent the common cold virus. Adding fresh garlic to your diet is also a way of gaining its antimicrobial properties. Because garlic has many healing actions, you might try this though you may want to brush your teeth afterward to protect your teeth from enzymes and improve your breath. 6. Apple Cider Vinegar Apple Cider Vinegar has many natural antibacterial uses. Numerous studies show its antimicrobial effects in fighting infections. Because of its acidic nature, it can be used to help break down mucus in the throat and stop bacteria from spreading. If you sense a sore throat coming on, Try diluting 1 to 2 tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in 1 cup of water and gargle with it. Then take a small sip of the mixture, and repeat the whole process 1 to 2 times per hour. Make sure to drink lots of water in between the gargling sessions. There are many different ways of using apple cider vinegar to treat sore throats, depending on the severity of the illness and also your body's sensitivity to vinegar. It is best to first consult your doctor or healthcare practitioner. 7. Fight dry air with a humidifier. Dry air can irritate a sore throat, prolonging your recovery time. Taking a steamy shower or using a humidifier can bring moisture back into the air, thus relieving any discomfort. The mucous membranes of the nose and throat love moisture. Steam provides moisture and warmth, which helps the vocal cords calm down and decrease in swelling. The moisture in your nose can also help clear out mucus and gunk, which can be part of the problem. Eight. When to see a doctor about your sore throat. Strep throat is an extremely painful bacterial infection that may come on suddenly. Fortunately, the vast majority of bacterial infections, including strep, generally respond well to one course of an appropriate antibiotic. Because sore throats can have so many causes, some symptoms need to be seen by a specialist.